<laughs> welcome back coming at you with my very first video as an agricultural youtuber with 10,000 subscribers can you believe it thank you so much to everybody who has subscribed already massive thank you to Tom Pemberton who gave me a farm 24 YouTube shout out which is amazing so I think maybe an extra 1,000 ish folk came from him over to here so if you're new you're very welcome come on in yeah so today's video is a little bit of a mixed bag in all honesty i'm actually filming this the next day that's why this t-shirt looks a little bit dirtier <laughs> than um the clips you're about to see but yeah come on in we're gonna do a bit of foot bathing a bit of milking just the usual stuff that we get up to and we'll have a little chat any questions you want to know anything you want to know about me leave it down below um, and i'll get back to you asap so i hope you enjoy So first job of the day um, obviously was milking, feeding calves, and then getting me my breakfast because that is the most important job of the day. Um, or else I am very grumpy for the rest of it and not very easy work with. But the next job we're gonna do is clean out the dry cows. We brought the dry cows in last week with that weather, sort of muggy, wet, warm, like summer mastitis, dry cow mastitis was going to be a problem. So we brought them in to try and avoid that. Obviously less flies in the house, things like that. So that's what we are trying to do. So they're in the house now. We're going to get them um, scraped out, bedded, cleaned off, and then we're going to run them around into the foot bath as well. If you have been following my Instagram for a while, then you will know that I love foot bathing cows. <laughs> and I especially love putting fairy liquid into the foot bath. So I'll show you that and then we can have a little chat about why I use fairy liquid in my foot bath. So if you know about foot bathing, you know that you generally put in your water and your active agent or your chemical compound or disinfectant or whatever you're going to use. And generally we use copper sulfate here. I think it makes a good job disinfecting the cow's feet and killing any digital dermatitis that the cows might have. But <laughs> as you can see here, I have a very trusty little sidekick whenever it comes to foot bathing. Okay, there's drill work going on here today. So if you hear that in the background, I apologize in advance. So some of the biggest problems we face whenever we're putting cows through a foot bath is contact time. Contact time is basically the amount of time that a cow's foot spends in contact with the active agents in the foot bath. Generally, cows probably don't spend more than 10 seconds in the foot bath, and obviously that becomes a problem. Also, cow number one through the foot bath gets a much better treatment than cow number 100, for example. There goes the drill. While that's drilling, I'm gonna go and get my fairy liquid. <laughs> this place is so loud. 
Oh, now it stops. Of course now it stops. So that is when the fairy liquid comes into play. Basically, fairy liquid is a surfactant. <laughs> and a surfactant helps to bind the active agents in the foot bath to the cow's foot for longer. So it increases the contact time. If you increase the contact time, you're probably going to increase the efficacy. Um, obviously that means that the active agents in the foot bath are working on the cow's foot even after that 10 seconds that she spent in the bath. So you should hope to get a better response to your foot bath when you use fairy liquid. That is the idea anyway um, on the use of surfactants in foot bathing. I am absolutely not an expert. I don't claim to be. <laughs> Just a lowly dairy farmer who likes a little top tip and to try different things. Obviously, everybody wants cows to be happy and healthy and have good feet. So yeah, that's just one of the things that we do. Let me know down below if you use fairy liquid in your foot bath. If you use it in your fairy liquid, if you use it in your foot bath, where did you get the idea from? Did you pick it up from my Instagram? Did you read about it somewhere else? I would love to know where you heard about it. And if you don't use it, are you keen to use it? Will you use it? Also, if you don't agree with it, that's absolutely fine as well. You can keep your fairy liquid for your dishes. It doesn't bother me. <laughs> I just thought I would share this because um, there was questions about it. And I think that as farmers, it's a good job to try and learn different things from other people. Um, and obviously what works on your farm mightn't work on somebody else's farm. What works for your cows mightn't work for somebody else's cows. But it's all fun and we're all learning. And at the end of the day, we just want happy cows that skip out to the fields with no digital dermatitis. So you've seen the dry cows go through earlier on and now we're going to bring the milk cows in. They'll get milked and then pass up through the race, through the foot bath. The cows walk through the race every day anyway, so they should, fingers crossed, <laughs> go through the foot bath, um, no bother. The cows are foot bath in this farm every two-ish weeks probably and the cows pass through two to three times, which I mean the first two times is 200 passes, um, 100, pa 100 passes per time. Um, so probably by the third time they're going through the copper sulfate isn't as good or isn't as effective in the foot bath um, That's one thing to remember when you're looking up different types of foot baths Don't forget that a lot of their tests are done on pure clean water and um, when they're working out the efficacy of their ingredients The tests are done in clean 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 water not water that has been passed through by a hundred cows and shit in by a hundred cows so Bear that in mind when you are looking at results, comparing different foot bath agents, chemicals, whatever you want to call it. Um, just something to think about. So that is me done for today. Just gotta to close the cows out and then we're done. Everybody pass through the foot bath. They'll pass through again tomorrow morning and then hopefully everybody's toes and feet and interdigital spaces <laughs> uh, will be okay. Like I said earlier on, absolutely not an expert. Definitely not, don't claim to know anything. <laughs> Just telling you what we do here. There is plenty of other folk on Instagram and YouTube who could teach you all a lot more than I could. So I'll leave a couple of links down below if you want to read up um, a little bit about lameness or other sort of problems affecting the dairy herd. That'll obviously all link into 
fertility and profitability. I'll leave links for them down below. I feel a bit like a teacher. <laughs> but that's all for me um, and I will see you in my next one. Bye. Bye.